Hello again. This time I want to complete my plan or execute my plan to uh, test driven develop rental class. Rental class, yeah, remember, is about a contract which uh, lets uh, an item to be rented. Item, uh, the rental item is a simple interface which has one method and the rental uh, class itself uh, computes, computes the, rem, uh, the rental for a number of days. There are a few rules, like the minimal re rental that you can do is uh, one day, you can have it one day, and there's an additional rule to make it a bit more complex that when the rental duration exceeds five days, that for all extra days you have a reduction in price per day of 10%. And this is what uh, we, we want to do. Uh, this is my uh, familiar rental class again. You've seen that uh, last time we developed uh, the get cost method, which uh, uses uh, the computation of period between two days and uh, then uh, multiplies that uh, amount of days with the daily cost which is uh, simple enough let's uh, go to the rental uh, the rental item itself uh, has changed a bit uh, uh, compared to the previous session i've renamed uh, get a cost method to get daily cost to make it more uh, uh, clear to what it's all about the rental test is, uh, hasn't changed uh, since last time other than uh, that, uh, that method, but it is not visible here. Uh, what I'm now going about to do is uh, uh, achieve the, uh, the requirement or complete the requirement that the minimum rental for one day, uh, a minimum rental is the rental for one day. So the minimum cost that uh, should be uh, paid is 10 euros. Okay, test driven means you start at the test class. Um, I like my test to be very focused, that is, I have as few asserts in the test method as possible, and then in one is of course the minimum. Uh, so I want to write a new test method which will be test get cost for zero days, and it will have a lot of repetition which makes it attractive to do some copy and paste. And you will see in a minute why that can be copy and waste. So it's very easy to do that in NetBeans if you know your keyboard controls. And it helps me as a non-typist to uh, to do this work. Oh, zero. There we go again. And uh, this is the framework of my test. Um, well, what I can do is simply uh, say zero days means plus days uh, zero. That should work. But of course, it's way simpler. I want the end date to be exactly the same as the start date, independent on of what date I'm in. Let's see if this uh, test method is any good, you know, because I've done the minimum amount of work, which is always good. And uh, let's see what, what happens. You see that my test is working. That is, it's red, which is good test-wise. And it says, well, the cost I expected it was 1,000 cents, 10 euros, but I got zero, meaning that the implementation is wrong. The implementation is off. It doesn't um, uh, keep to the contract because it should compute a minimum cost of 10 euros or the cost for one day, not 10 euros, the cost of one day. So what should I do? Well, this duration should then be set to at least one if the computed value is less than one. Let's do that in an extra step. Um, we could do something like if duration less than the minimum number of days, then set it to minimum number of days. But there's a simpler way to do that. There's a method in the math utility class, which is called uh, max, and there's another one which is called min. And the first thing you might want to try is, well, let's have the minimum of one day, because it's the minimum cost, and the computed cost. Let's see what happens. Yes, because this is attractive, it's about minimum value, minimum cost, so max min would be the most, uh, well, name-wise fitting method to do the computation. Let's see what our test method does. Test method says, hey, still wrong. And considering, looking at this and looking at what is computed, I'll see that this is the minimum num um, number of days I want to com uh, compute with. But this now produces zero days if start and end date are the same. So it's not the minimum that I want in case that this value is lower than one, 
but I want the maximum value. So it's about math.max that I need to compute. Let's do that. Let's uh, improve our code in this way. And you see that my test now passes. So I'm quite happy with my test. It was red uh, first and it's green now. And the value uh, looks OK. But I'm not quite happy with the test because in the test class, I see a lot of repetition. You see, there's a local date here and a rental item there, and there's a end date that's computed, and they can't can't get past the end date because the tests are differ differ by the end date. There's a rental object that needs to be created. I have to do that because uh, some of the parameters change. But the expected value and this ten and another ten and another ten is a lot of repetition. So I want to shrink my class by taking the repetition out. And in this case, I choose to simply put that into uh, the class itself. So make all these uh, fields members. And what I also want to do is uh, avoid this repetition of 10 uh, in all these cases. And of course, because this part is the same as that part, I can take it out of the second method. Let's do that. That's it. I have a minimum uh, amount of change. Um, oops. Yes. Oh. Let's go back. So I have the minimal amount of change in my code. Let's retest the code. Yes, test code now is green. Uh, what I might want to do is, well, introduce this error again and see if my test uh, finds it. Yes, it does. So let's restore that. So the tests are still OK. And there's another refinement I want to make in my test, and it is this repetition of uh, 10. I want this repetition to be replaced by a constant. And the constant will be, call, will be called, uh, it will be a constant, static, static int. I also want it to, be, to be, it to be constant, so it's final, that makes it constant. I call the constant simply daily, daily cost, and equate that to 10 euros. And then replace all the instances of 10 with daily. Daily. And then do replace, replace, and replace. And then all the instances have been replaced, but the one that uh, defines the constant. So I have now three instances of daily. Now my test is. OK, also coding wise. This is the way that uh, you strive to uh, write your code. Repetitious pieces should be taken out, either make them into members or to into separate methods. In this case, I chose to make them into members. OK, so this is uh, the test that I have completed. I have improved my test. I refactored it a little bit to make them shorter. And uh, less code is less wrong, so that's always good. The next test I must uh, do is this uh, rental duration for five days. Well, test driven means develop the test first and then write your code. Now, I've improved my uh, test methods, so I'll allow myself to make a copy of a test. And let's test with one day more than the boundary. So it's uh, about six, so six days for six days and then they should be no that doesn't look right and then the cost would be well the first five days have a daily cost and the initial initial days would have the additional days is one would have a cost of oh uh, I made a typo typo there daily minus daily daily divided by 10. One tenth daily minus one tenth of daily. And now it says it doesn't like it anymore. For some reason, it wants a semicolon. Yeah, no, it wants a semicolon of somewhere. Well, well, now this is really confusing. See, it says I want a semicolon somehow. That's not the case. In this case, the compiler is a bit off. What it wants 
is make sure that this is a complete expression it wants a plus sign to make it in a normal expression then it understands okay it's a computation 5 plus daily times uh, 1 times daily minus daily di divided by 10 this is the cost this should be the cost that is computed by my uh, my test class my uh, rental class let's see what happens and hooray i have a test which expects 5900 uh, cents as a cost but uh, sees 1000 which is wrong well, it's wrong for two accounts. First of all, what I did, I didn't adjust the start date. And that's wrong, of course. Which is first, let's uh, let's do that. So uh, add some days to this one. Uh, next for six days. So start date plus six days is the end date. Now let's rerun the test. Minimal change, still red. I expect. Now you see the computation expects five thousand nine hundred cents. That is the cost, uh, including the uh, reduction. But uh, the actual value that is computed is 6,000, which is because the rental class computes the value wrong now. Now, what should we do? Well, we should make sure that uh, only for the five, first five days, the full costs are computed. And for the remaining days, um, the cost should be computed um, with a reduction of 10% per day. And how you do that? Well. I've written it down, of course, otherwise I wouldn't go make a good show of, uh, of this. It's uh, very simple. Um, if the duration in days e uh, is less than less or equal than 5, then I can simply return oops, the original computation. Yes. Otherwise, I must... Um, I must compute um, the the daily cost by using base cost equals five uh, is uh, equals uh, the item dot get daily cost and then the reduced cost reduce used cost equals uh, base cost cost base cost minus base cost uh, divided by 10 10 percent off and then let's type this properly and then the uh, computed value simply is return base cost uh, times 5 plus the duration duration in days minus those five days times the reduced cost and that should be the value that is to be returned let's take this line out so if the number of days is less or equal to five then return the daily cost otherwise uh, return the daily cost for the first five days and uh, a reduced price for the remaining days let's make a small typo here which is as usual I would say and let's have a look at what uh, tests do yeah this looks uh, quite okay let's have a look at uh, test coverage which measures how much of your code you really uh, tested and you see that all of this code has been uh, executed so there's very little I have to uh, to test other than uh, also make sure that the boundary cases are correctly tested I must make sure that the value for five days is also correct. That's quite simple. Uh, rename the method name that's required and also give a, num a different number for the uh, days to add. And then let's uh, run the test and you see, ha, there's a computation that goes wrong. Yeah, wrong value or expected, but uh, it, sh it should be 5000. That's true. Now, in this case, the rental class is uh, not to blame, or rather, I'm not to blame on that part, but I'm to blame on this part because I uh, computed the number of days wrongly. 
So you see, it's not a copy and waste problem because here it says uh, six and five over here and it uses uh, magic constants. Um, might not want to do that, but that is for another time. Simply uh, make a compute, uh, correct computation and uh, then that's what, uh, what it should do. That uh, completes my tests. Thank you for your attention and bye bye for next time.